Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my video for Friday, the 12th of February, 2016. So I just want to be doing a bit of a video. Um, I'm going to do this in clips of my top 10 items of 2015 um, from last year. This is just top top 10 items that I picked up last year. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do this in clips so I can say try and get it nice and concise. Um, yeah, I've seen a few other people doing videos like this, so decided I'd go ahead and do it myself, basically. Um, so yeah, we'll start with number 10. And for number 10, I've decided to start with the Hot Wheels Star Wars line. Um, this whole video will consist of only Star Wars items, so I've uh, picked up a few other items throughout the year, but I decided to stick with Star Wars. It was a big Star Wars year, so stick around for more Star Wars, basically. <laughs> um, very impressed with the Hot Wheels Star Wars line. These, sh these little die-cast ships, these have been very impressive. Um, I've sort of slowed down in the last couple of months with these, um, mainly because the stores haven't really been getting as many in, um, and the sort of, the old, the ones from the first couple of waves are sort of still sitting around, so maybe if I buy them, maybe they'll, they'll restock, but here is a Pose X-Wing and the Millennium Falcon from The Force Awakens. These are pretty impressive, got a bit of weight to them, nice details, and very nice little collectible which I've been really happy to collect. They've been a lot of fun and a good price so I'll be continuing them as I pick out ones that I really like but yeah that's my number 10. And for number 9 we've got Kylo Ren's Ultimate Effects lightsaber. If I can get this in frame this is the uh, there's a bit of dog hair stuck on the, where the sticker was I have to clean that off um, this was a toy. This is a Toys R Us exclusive down here in Australia. Um, sort of, there's the Ultimate Effects or whatever it is, which is like three or four hundred dollars. Then there's the twenty-five dollar version, and this is like the eighty to a hundred dollars. So it's pretty damn cool, and it's loud. So, but, but it's pretty nice. It takes a beating. Um, me and my girlfriend have already had some lightsaber fights because I've got the Darth Vader one as well. So we sort of just run around the house fighting with these things. So this is, I was really impressed with this. My mum got this for me for Christmas. So <laughs> that was cool. But that is uh, number nine. And for number eight, I decided to go with something that was not available to me here in Australia. And this was sent to me by Darth Phoenix 619 when I was lucky enough to win one of his contests uh, a few months ago now, probably. Um... Disney Star Wars Elite Series, these are the sort of die cast, a little bit bigger than six inch figures. Um, so they're a little bit bigger in scale to the Black Series. But he was he was very generous and then able to send me down Captain Phasma. And just super impressed with this one. And uh, yeah, I haven't taken it out of the box and I won't either. Because it's, uh, it's, like I said, it's something. We don't have Disney stores down here. They all sort of shut down because they failed down here probably five, ten years ago, so, um, hopefully they make a comeback, but, I don't know, I'm not sure, it just doesn't seem to be a market down here for it, but, this is really cool nonetheless, I was really happy to grab, grab this one, so, uh, thanks again, Tony, appreciate it, that's number eight, now for number seven, this, uh, Star Wars Rebels was a big presence in 2015, um, it just helped, the, helped, helped ease the lead, lead up to, um, episode seven a bit, which is really cool, and it brought us this awesome two pack. Which you know, super excited. I grabbed two. I've kept this one in the box, and I've got them loose as well. No, these these things aren't hard to find down here at all. These are everywhere. I can't can't walk into a store and not see them. So, um, I'm just glad they made these figures easy to get. I thought they'd be a lot harder, but I was really impressed with this pack. The artwork on the side there, um, both of the figures were really cool. Feel like they could have made Ahsoka look a little bit older, but she's still a really cool figure for a five point of articulation figure. And uh, yeah, Darth Vader looks absolutely awesome in the series. So really nice to get this pack. So that is number seven. And here we have number six. This is probably the most expensive thing I bought all year, um, the Sphero BB-8, um, 
I've had so much fun with this thing. This is just incredible technology. Um, this is this is definitely probably been one of the toys of the year, I imagine, for most people. Um, it just gives everyone that sort of piece of awesome technology, um, bit of Star Wars memorabilia. Um, yeah, it's just really impressive and a lot of fun. Not cheap. These are $250 down here in Australia. I think they're $150 in the US. Um, so they've been relatively easy. I know they sold out really quickly in the US when uh, they hit on Force Friday. And um, yeah, they've been relatively easy to get down here. So, But like I said, I've had so much fun with this. Um, not so much recently, but I'll have to get it out and have another spin. Because BB-8 is just such a cool little droid. And I was super impressed with this, with this little piece of technology. It was super impressive, and everybody just looks at it and goes, "Wow, that's really cool!" And just everyone wants to know how it works. So the BB-8 by Sphero is my number six. Now for my number five. This is a continuing thing too. We're going to Marvel Star Wars comics. I've been really impressed with these this series. Um, Marvel were doing a really good job at handling these stories. Um, I've just kept the first issue here. Um, I've, I've bought a few singles, um, just single issues. I haven't for a while. I've got a few issue ones. Um, it was just getting too hard to go and buy, you know, single issues when you live 40 minutes out of town and when you get there, you got to pay for parking and when you get there, you got to pay pretty much double the cover price. Not quite. I think this says four ninety nine US. So we, we pay about $7.50 to $8 an issue, which, you know, I decided to eventually, it's gonna, it was going to get too hard to start buying into all the series. And um, so I decided I'd stick with trade paperbacks. And I'm going to do an in, I'm gonna do a separate video on those um, next. I saw uh, Red Leader 1 did a video on his comics a week ago, a week or so ago. This is Conan number one. Star Wars number two, and uh, yeah, I've been all caught up with the uh, trade paperbacks. I just picked up Lando about a week or two ago. I oh, still would just sit down and read that. I've been a bit busy doing other reading, other reading and watching other things at the moment. So Darth Vader number one, Darth Vader number two, and Princess Leia. So that's that's all I really picked up of the single issues. I think that's all of them. But, yeah, really good series. I'm really looking forward to what's coming. Um, some of the sort of standalone stories are really nice as well. But, uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. So that is my number five. Now for number four, we're going to go for some Lego. And this is Poe's X-Wing. This is probably one of my favourite sets in my entire Lego collection. Um, this just looks incredible. The black, the orange, the minifigures are super cool. Um, the playability, the you know, the little mechanism which toggles the wings to open. This Lego set is by far one of the best, and this was so much fun to build. Um, oh, so good! I can't wait for them to release the the other X Wing. Um, yeah, this is a really impressive set. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, the little Poe mini figures, great. Hope we get one so we can have a hair piece as well. But that helmet looks so sick. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic X-Wing. A really nice Lego set. BB-8 stuck in the top there as well. If I can focus. It's so good. Um, yeah, I've got another Lego set coming up. So this is number four. And here's number three. I had to get some six-inch Black Series love in here. Um, the entire line has really impressed me this year, um, but in particular Kylo Ren. Uh, this figure was when I, when Force Friday happened. It was just this was my most anticipated figure for that day. Um, got to go to Toys R Us, lined up for about two hours, got in, shoveled all the figures in my bag, and we were back out in the car in nine minutes. It was a crazy, crazy night, but. The heart was racing, it was mental, it was fun. Everything got wiped off the shelves in within minutes. 
um, but I was ha able to get everything I wanted and uh, I was so stoked with Kylo Ren. Um, I have done a hand swap. This is, I've got the, uh, this is just the regular release Kylo Ren and I gave him the Star Killer base uh, hand as well. So I did a bit of a swap there. Probably didn't need to, I could have just swapped them out of the box. But um, yeah, I was super impressed. The line itself, the stormtroopers were awesome. Um, Phasma was awesome. All the main characters, all the heroes were great. Um, it's just a line that's really, really going from strength to strength. And watching the collection grow is has been a lot of fun this year. And uh, yeah, had to get a had to get a black series figure in the top top ten. So Kylo Ren takes the cake for me. On to number two. And for number two, I've gone with Star Wars Battlefront for the PS4. Um, this game has just so much, taken up so much of my time since it came out. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I've never played a shooter before, like, for years. Like, I've never played an online shooter. I tried uh, Battlefield 3 a few years ago, and I just couldn't get into it. But I think Star Wars pushed me into... Given a shooter a go, I'm actually getting pretty damn good at it now, so um, I'm actually keen to give more shooters a go, but um, it's held my interest pretty well. I know a lot of people weren't, weren't happy with the amount of content and the repeating maps and stuff, but, you know, I, I've, like I said, I've never played a shooter before, so I didn't really know what to expect, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I've, had a, I've, had a, I've had a game with uh, Red Leader 1, and that was a lot of fun. We had a bit of a chit chat while we we're playing for a little while so hopefully we can jump on and play again soon i've got a couple of buddies from work that we jump on with our headsets and we've got a little bit of a squad going so we sort of jump on and have a few hours here and there and just shoot the shit while we're playing so um yeah this has been a really good game i've i haven't quite hit rank 50 yet i just hit 45 the other day um so I've by all means I haven't smashed it at all. People were ranked fifty within the first weekend, so um, nice to just sort of sit down and have a few have a few goes every couple of times a week. So that's a lot of fun. So that is my number two, and for my number one, I've had to go with the Lego Millennium Falcon. This thing just blew my mind. And it is my favourite Lego set. Oh, it rivals the Ewok Village. It really does. Um, I love the Ewok Village to death, but this thing impressed the absolute crap out of me. It's just <laughs> this was such a fun build. Um, I smashed the build out in a night. The minifigures are great. If they're all in here, I'm not sure. I think I took I think Han Solo's out at the moment. No, he's not. There he is. He's fallen over. It's because I just threw him in there. We've got Han Solo, we've got BB-8, we've got Ray, we've got Finn, we've got Chewie. And on the back here, you've got a couple of the Kanji Club. We've got Tasu Lich from Kanji Club. In the back there, not that they ever made it on board, but, you know. Such an impressive set. I'm so happy. Um, I've wanted a Millennium Falcon for, year, for a long time. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say years because I haven't been collecting the Star Wars Lego for years. But, you know, since I've really got back, since I've got into Star Wars Lego, I've really wanted the Falcon. And, yeah, really happy to get this one because it's, it's damn awesome. I definitely recommend this set. Um, but, uh, it's an easy decision to put this at number one. This is probably my second most expensive set that I've bought. Um, and yeah, just a lot of fun to build and a lot of fun to play with as well. So that takes me, that's number one. So that takes me to my top 10 completed. I hope you enjoyed watching this, guys. I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you.